How's it going, everyone? This is Elijah here for Radio Western, and welcome to another edition of What's Western Listening To. It is a gorgeous day outside, surprisingly. It's probably going to be the best day we get in October, so at the station we figured why not go talk to people outside, see what they're listening to. Let's get started. All right, so I'm chilling here with Renee. It's really nice to sit down and relax finally, so thank you for this. Uh, so what are you listening to? I'm um, listening to like a lot of acoustic music right now, like Matt Mason, Hallucinogenics. It's just kind of like vibey, calming me down for the uh, exam season, you know? And then also, oh, what is it? Hot Girl Summer by Black Bear. I've just been like jamming that all the time when I'm going out with my friends and partying. That's like the alternative vibe. <laughs> yeah, for sure, absolutely. So you kind of have a playlist and set for when you're studying and when you're just ready to, when you stop studying and you're ready to just kind of turn up, right? Oh yeah, um, actually study, when I'm studying I probably listen to like the sound of like crashing waves and like nature sounds. Just because it's like, I can't really listen to words that often. Like I, I have to write all these words, I have a bunch of essays, right? So like, I can't like listen to words and also write them at the same time. They'd almost come off as a distraction, right? They kind of, yeah, yeah, yeah. you start writing down the lyrics instead of what you're actually trying to write down yeah, instead. Facts, facts. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah, yeah. So I can't really do that. But yeah, just a lot of acoustic stuff, just jamming out and um, yeah, some more acoustic stuff. And is that, and is this because you're studying, is that why you like it? Because it's a little bit more mellow. It kind of puts you in that type of vibe? Yeah, yeah. I think just like, it's more because it's like when I'm walking in between classes and I'm just like looking around, it's pretty and I just kind of want to like, in like a vibey state right because like that's my only time to really listen to music like those words so yeah yeah and who would you recommend this type of music to um i would say people who are just trying to chill out and uh have a good time but oh no get away sorry and, uh, <laughs> okay. oh my gosh a little phobia that's what probably another reason i need to <laughs> leave this grass um <laughs> Um, but yeah, I know people who are just like trying to have a good time and then obviously like listen to Black Bear when you're, uh, when you're getting lit because it's, it's a good time, especially his new single. It's, I listened to it probably like 10 times in a row. I didn't get bored. So, <laughs> hey, so I'm standing here with Christine. Now, Christine, what are you listening to these days? Um, I'm listening to Latin American music, like Hispanic music. I just came out of, um, Spanish class right now, so I'm trying to keep like continue with like the Spanish like around me and all that yeah uh, did the Spanish class introduce you to Spanish music or did you have you always just like the the type of Latin music I just liked Latin music which is one of the reasons why I actually took Spanish um, shout out to Jay Balvin because that's the only reason why I am passing Spanish right now <laughs> so yeah nice, nice. is there a certain song by Jay Balvin that you've been listening to more often or is there a certain song in general that you've been listening to more than others um, I love J Balvin. All of his songs are amazing. I also listen to Nicky Yam. Um, favorite song from Nicky Yam right now is Hasta el Amanecer. I don't know if I just butchered that, but that's, I really hope I didn't. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, it's all a process of learning Spanish right now. Yeah. What is that? Do you know what that title means at all? Honestly, I don't know. <laughs> Good, neither did I, so I was hoping I could get some help. But, uh, and what, uh, who would you recommend this type of music to or that song specifically? Honestly, like Hispanic music is just very like upbeat and like really happy. I also listen to it when I'm um, working out. So anyone who's just like on the go, um, walking to school or even working out or just like you just want to listen to something upbeat and fun. That's all. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. You're welcome. All right. Perfect. So I'm standing here with Matt. Matt, what are you listening to these days? Uh, right now I'm listening to a little bit of lo-fi hip hop, you know, just steady beats, like trying to make sure I'm not too distracted by the lyrics and uh, normally I go around a little a few a little bit of rap I'm not really too picky with my music here <laughs> do you have any like specific songs or anything like that that you're listening to or albums yeah recently I've picked up like uh, temptation by Joey badass or um, even analog 2 by Tyler the creator just slow songs like that and you know Joji or uh, he's become pink guy right yeah, he, he yeah. has, yeah. For sure, for sure. And what do you like about listening to like this lo-fi rap type of stuff? Is it because it just helps you study and it kind of puts you in that type of mood, vibe? Yeah, I kind of like I kind of try to keep a chill vibe most of the day. You know, sometimes when the weekend comes around, you start picking up the tempo, but yeah, during the week, you know, you want to keep it chill. For sure. 
and who who would you recommend this type of music to that you're listening to? You know, anyone that's studying, really. You don't want to get caught up focusing on lyrics when you're trying to do work. So it, you want to keep your attention on your work. So you know. Yeah. All right, perfect. So what are you listening to today? Uh, I'm listening to a lot of uh, R&B and alternative music, usually, yeah. What kind of, uh, are you, like, alternative R&B type music? or? Yeah, yeah. Uh, any specific songs or artists that you're listening to recently? I'm into Cage the Elephant right now, like in their music. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. They just dropped an album recently, did they not? I think so, yes. Yeah, so. Is that the one you're listening to? Uh, I'm kind of in the older stuff right now, but more of my study playlist, so. Yeah, absolutely. And is that why you listen to it? Is that why you like it? Because it's good, mellow music for studying? Yeah, very uh, chilled out, nothing too like exciting, so I don't get off uh, task. <laughs> Sure. Yeah, I mean, it is uh, midterm season, right? So, yeah. um, and then wh who would you recommend this type of music to? Uh, every student, it's like something good to listen to in the background while you're studying, or just like to kind of relax. It's a lot more uh, chilled out and doesn't get you all hyped up or anything like that, and it's not sad or anything. So, <laughs> it's good, good in between. <laughs> sure. All right, so I'm standing here with Nicole. Now, Nicole, we just happened to pass by your little station over here. Can you tell us what's going on? Yeah, so we're doing a SEGEX hammer swing, which just basically means it's you swing a hammer at a plate and then there's geophones around it that collect the signals and then tell you how hard you swing the hammer. And basically it's just a competition, the top two win prizes, like gift cards to the grad club. Wow. Yeah. And why why are you guys doing this? Are you collecting da like data from this at all? or? Uh, actually, it's just the data is for fun, but it's mostly a fundraiser for our club, SEGEX, which is the Society of Exploration Geophysicists. And that's the whole point of the, I guess, the geophones kind of incorporate something geophysical about this. But uh, yeah, we're just doing a little fundraiser. It's $2 for three swings. And we're here until five today. <laughs> Are you scared that anyone's going to break the plate that you have in there? I've already seen, I see there's a little crack in there already, so. Uh, um, well, last year actually was the first time we cracked it, and there was like a tiny, tiny little crack, and it's just been getting bigger and bigger, and like, we do this every semester, and then plus we do it for Science Rendezvous too, with like little kids, so every swing makes it a little more, but um, we're probably just going to have to get a new plate soon, but. And uh, do you guys do this more than once a year, or is this just uh, like every so often, or is it just an annual thing? Uh, so we do it every semester. So we used to do it actually just once a year, but it was actually such a hit that like even faculty wanted to get involved. We have a girls and guys category, and now we do it every semester and then in the summer maybe sometimes too. I was going to say, it, might, it must be pretty hard in the snowy kind of weather to hit that. So. Yeah, so it's like fall and then spring and then summer. <laughs> All right, so I'm sitting here with Kadisha. Kadisha, what are you listening to? Right now I'm listening to Leon Bridges' River. Yeah. Uh, what about that song do you like so much? I don't know, his voice is just very soothing, so right? it's nice to study too. Yeah, very soulful, very, yeah, it kind of takes you back, right? Yeah, yeah. Did you go to his concert? I know he was just recently here. No, I didn't, unfortunately. Uh, I know. Yeah, because I've heard, I've, I have a couple friends and they said it was great, so I was just wondering if you, yeah. Are you a huge Leon Bridges fan, or is it just this song in particular that speaks to you? Um, I'm, a f I'm, I'm a decent enough fan, yeah. <laughs> Is that type of your music that you like to listen to, soul music or like early R&B? It depends on my mood, yeah, but yeah. Sure, sure. Um, and who would you recommend Leon Bridges or this song or any type of music that you listen to? to? Um, Leon Bridges, I guess. Anyone who is into soul or just something soothing and calm. Yeah. yeah perfect study music, right? Yeah. Yep. Perfect. All right. Well, thank you so much for taking time out. All right. Thank you.